afternoon, everyone, and good morning for those that are in the same time zones as we are here in the, uh, the Americas. I hope uh, everybody is doing fine as we all are confined, you know, in our countries all around the world, as Emilia was saying, but we have the magic of technology to keep us connected. And I just wanted also just to, to flag something that is also nice in these difficult times. You know, we, uh, we're, we're all, you know, at home working in different settings, and, and this gives us a sort of a glimpse in our personal life because we see you know, what our home offices look like, our living rooms for those who don't have offices. In the background, you know, we see pictures of our families. So it, it brings a sort of a personal touch also. And, and this is a very good thing in, in this difficult time. So I think there's always like a sort of a, a positive aspect to some of the, the, uh, the critical uh, the issues that we're facing. So as Emilia was saying, I'm Sebastien Amel. I'm the executive director of programs here at uh, FCM in uh, Canada. I'm also the vice chair of the capacity and institutional uh, building working group at UCLG. Um, many of, the, of, uh, of you know uh, CIB, I'm working with uh, Peter oh. Nip, who's the chair and uh, who was a co-founder with, uh, with Brock. So there's, there's a kind of a family thing here going on. Um, as um, many of you, of you know, uh, one of the key mandates of uh, CIB is really to facilitate exchanges of good practices and to support coordination between peers from the local government sector. So this is why uh, we were very glad uh, to be involved in uh, today's session. Um, we have a number of presenters. We have four senior leaders from local government associations coming from Latin America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. Um, our presenters have been asked to focus on a few key questions. First, we wanted each of them to give, give us uh, more information about the current situation in their country and what are the challenges and priorities that their association is facing in, response, in responding to the COVID uh, outbreak. Second, they will talk to us about the opportunities that they see for international cooperation in this time of crisis and what we can do as a global community of practitioners in support of one another. And finally, the, the sort of the third thing that we've asked them to uh, talk to us about is to looking at the future and thinking six months from now, what do they hope that their association would have been able to achieve or to learn in responding to this crisis? We have about 30 or 40 minutes. We'll go into rounds, having two of our colleagues speak, and then we will take a few questions from the, the, the chat room. And we'll do the same thing with the two last presenters. So a little bit of instructions. As we listen to uh, our colleagues, please add your questions to the chat box on, on the right side of your screen. And we'll have some colleagues in the Netherlands that will select a number of these questions and we'll see, you know, depending on the uh, time that we have, how many they can answer. Um, so a little bit of a reminder for each presenter, I ask you to be brief um, so that we can have some room for questions. And also, uh, please don't speak too fast to give a chance to uh, our interpreters. So if everybody is okay, we'll start with uh, round one. And I'd like to introduce our first speaker, who's uh, Mr. Paulo Oliveira, who's a Director of International Relations at the National Front of Mayors in Brazil. So Mr. Oliveira, the virtual floor is yours for the next five minutes.